Good morning, all. Today's topic is stoichiometry. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Today's topic is stoichiometry. What is stoichiometry? The quantitative relation between the number of moles of various reactants and products in a chemical reaction is referred as stoichiometry. So later we can relate this number of moles with the mass of various reactants as well as products. Now let us try to understand this with an example. See here, let us take an example, reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen. Nitrogen symbol N, N2 molecules react with the hydrogen molecules and we get this is ammonia. So here, number of atoms, number of atoms of nitrogen equal to two atoms. Here, hydrogen is two atoms. On the product side, nitrogen is one, hydrogen three. See the difference here. On left side, there are two nitrogen atoms, whereas on right side, there is only one nitrogen atom. So nitrogen atoms are not equal on either side. Similarly, here on left side, hydrogen atoms are two and on right side, hydrogen atoms are three. So atoms on either side, either side are not equal. Atoms, on, atoms of different elements on either side are not equal. That means number of reactants Number of atoms of reactants of each and every element are not the same as the number of atoms of each and every element in the products. Okay. This does what happens? Law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass does not hold good here. <coughs> does not hold good. What is law of conservation of mass? Matter is neither created, matter is neither created nor destroyed. Matter is not created nor not destroyed. But in a chemical reaction, total mass of reactants is equal to the total mass of uh, uh, resultants or products. So to maintain the law of conservation of mass, we have to equalize the number of atoms of each and every element uh, on either side should be equal. Now, see here, two nitrogens, two nitrogen atoms and two hydrogen atoms, whereas here only one nitrogen atom. Therefore, let us change this equation. Change means in terms of coefficients only. Keep this point in mind. We are not changing the symbols and the formula. NH3. So, to make this two nitrogen atoms, in the instead of one ammonia molecule, let us take another ammonia molecule. Therefore, this becomes 2NH3. So here, how many nitrogen atoms are there? Nitrogen, two atoms and hydrogens. In each molecule, there are three atoms and two into three, six, six. nitrogen atoms are there. Okay. Now, two nitrogens are balanced here and six hydrogen atoms are there. How many molecules of hydrogen we have to take here? Three, sir. Three, sir. three <laughs> molecules ah, of ah. hydrogen. So this we call it as balancing of equation. Balancing of equation. So here, in a balanced equation, in a balanced equation, nitrogen is to hydrogen is to ammonia in terms of uh, molecules. How many molecules are there for nitrogen? One is to three hydrogen atom molecules and uh, two ammonia <coughs> molecules. Right? So, okay, so suppose okay. if we take, if we take, say, two nitrogen molecules plus, if one nitrogen needs three hydrogen molecules, Two nitrogen molecules need how many hydrogen atoms are here? Six, sir. Six, sir. Six hydrogen molecules. Therefore, we get four ammonia molecules. 
if we take a, a ratio here 2 is to 6 is to 4 this is nothing but 1 is to 3 is to 2 so in a balanced chemical equation the mole ratio is a fixed and the mole ratio is fixed for uh, different uh, reactions different mole ratios are available for different uh, uh, reactions now let us try to understand this uh, with an exam with uh, a figure see nitro this is a balanced equation just now we discussed that see here this is a nitrogen molecule whereas these are uh, hydrogen molecules so one nitrogen molecule react with uh, three hydrogen molecules and we get uh, this is ammonia this is also ammonia so uh, how many uh, ammonia uh, molecules are formed two ammonia two. so the ratio of nitrogen is to hydrogen is one is to three nitrogen. if you take the ratio of nitrogen is to ammonia this is nothing but one is to uh, two if you take ratio of hydrogen is to ammonia this is nothing but three is to so the ratio we can take in any way, of course, mm -hmm. depending on the problem given to us. Right. See here, as I explained in the previous slide, if two nitrogen molecules are taken, then we have to make it react with six hydrogen molecules. Therefore, we get one, one, two, three, four, four ammonia molecules must be there. Support. Now, let us extend this. So, nitrogen, hydrogen, we get uh, ammonia. If we take uh, two nitrogen molecules, we have to get uh, six hydrogen molecules and of course we get uh, four ammonia molecules. Suppose if we take uh, 10 nitrogen molecules, then how many hydrogen molecules must be required? If you take 10 nitrogen molecules, how many hydrogen molecules are required? This is 20. Oh, uh, this is 30. 30. Therefore, here, 30, uh, 30, uh, 30 molecules are formed. But, Suppose uh, if I take, say, P number of nitrogen molecules, then how many hydrogen sir, molecules are required? Sir, 3P. 3P, very 3P. good. And uh -huh. ammonia molecules, 2P. Suppose if I take 6.02 into 10 power 23 N2 molecules, mm -hmm. then how many hydrogens are required? Suppose consider this as a P. Uh, so this must three, be three, multiplied by, three, three three multiplied by uh, 6.02 into 10 power 23. Then we get 2 into 6.02 into 10 power 23. In the previous class, you learned about this fixed number as a Avogadro number represented by Na. And of course, this number of atoms or number of particles is referred as one mole. Therefore, if one mole, say here, if one mole of hydrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen, then we get two moles of ammonia. So this is nothing but 1 is to 3 is to 2 is nothing but a mole ratio. So that's a, the stoichiometry is nothing but a, the mole ratio. Okay. okay sir. Right. So if you take, say, 1 mole plus 3 moles, we get a 2 moles of ammonia. That means mole means? It is understood that 6.02 into 10 to the power 23, that is Avogadro number, which is a fixed number. Now, from this, sir, we can, we can take, say, two moles of nitrogen combines with six moles of hydrogen. Then we get four moles of ammonia. Okay. So, have you got this, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, so, thus, stoichiometry uh, gives an information about the mole ratio. So, stoichiometry gives information about the information 
about the mole ratio mole ratio in a chemical reaction chemical reaction mole ratio is nothing but the number of moles of reactants as well as uh, products okay now if we take if we uh, in terms of mass for example nitrogen what is the nitrogen uh, gram molecular weight gmw in the previous class we discussed this uh, 14 mass number of nitrogen is 14 so gram atomic weight this is gram atomic weight of uh, nitrogen is 14 but here in the molecule two atoms are there therefore gmw gram molecular weight of nitrogen equal to 2 into 14 it is 28 grams so 28 gram per mole that means one mole of nitrogen is equal to 28 grams similarly hydrogen h2 molecule hydrogen uh, gram atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 1 into 2 atoms it is a 1 into 2 is a 2 grams therefore gram molecular weight of hydrogen equal to 2 grams similarly if you take ammonia ammonia nitrogen 14 plus hydrogen 3 into 1 equal to 17 grams that means 1 mole of or 1 gram molecular weight or 1 mole of ammonia is equal to 17 grams. Now, the mole ratio we can discuss in a slight different way also. That is, for if we take the above equation, nitrogen plus hydrogen, and we get ammonia. Now, what is the molecular weight of the gram? One mole of nitrogen, this is 20 oh, yeah. plus in the balanced chemical equation, this is three, three hydrogen molecules, three into molecular weight of hydrogen is two equal gives uh, here two add molecules, two into one mole of ammonia is 17. So this is a 28 plus 66 uh, gives two into 17, 34. So 34. See here, this is the total mass of uh, total mass of reactants this is total mass of products total mass of uh, products so thus in this chemical reaction total mass of reactants is equal to total mass of products so what do you call this law this law is called law of conservation of mass Law of conservation of mass. So, in this way, using this uh, uh, stoichiometry and mole ratio in the balanced chemical equations, we can find out uh, the required information. Okay. Now, let us see a small problem here. The problem is how many grams of hydrogen is required, is required to react with uh, 14 grams of nitrogen to form ammonia. So here, first of all, write the equation. The equation for this reaction is nitrogen. See here, how many grams of hydrogen is required hydrogen. to react to 14 grams of nitrogen. So here the reactants are <laughs> nitrogen and hydrogen. The product is ammonia. That means the previous equation only. Nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia, NH3. So, balanced chemical equation is N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH2. So, in the previous uh, uh, slide, see here, we calculated the gram uh, uh, molar mass of uh, each and every substance. Molar mass of nitrogen is 28, molar mass of hydrogen is 2, whereas molar mass of uh, ammonia is uh, 17. So here, one mole plus three moles gives two moles. Okay. Now, 
so how many grams one mole of uh, nitrogen equal to 28 grams one mole of nitrogen is 28 grams 14 grams is how many moles so this is number of moles equal to 14 by 28 is equal to nothing but 0.5 right so 0.5 mole of nitrogen so here one mole of nitrogen requires three moles of hydrogen 0.5 mole need how many moles of hydrogen so this is 0.5 by 1 into 3 moles here 0.5 into 3 is nothing but 1.5 but one mole of one mole of hydrogen equal to 2 grams therefore 1.5 mole of hydrogen equal to 1.5 into 2 equal to 3 grams so this is here what we did first of all we converted the given uh, nitrogen in terms of moles is it necessary to do like this or can we do in a simple manner in is of converting into number of moles we can do directly also for example nitrogen plus hydrogen gives how much ammonia minus 3 so here 3 so one mole of nitrogen is 28 grams Uh, one mole of hydrogen is two uh, grams two into three six, and one mole of ammonia is seventeen grams two into seventeen that is twenty thirty four. Now take this uh, number of uh, mass of the nitrogen given directly here. Fourteen grams of nitrogen uh -huh. reacts with uh, how many grams of hydrogen? So this is nothing but fourteen into twenty eight. Fourteen by twenty eight into six. This is one by two equal to three grams. now you have uh, observed two methods one is uh, converting the given substance into number of moles that is the first option and the second option is directly using the given mass up, applying in the number of moles so whichever is easier you can follow this is it right have you understood right sir okay yes sir yes now let us see another one this is the periodic table in practice uh sometimes what happens when the problem is given we may have to take uh, the exact masses atomic masses of the substances strictly speaking see here uh, ammonia nitrogen is 14.60067 so this information you will be given in the problem so based on that we have to follow uh, we have to take the values of uh, atomic masses but for as i explained in the previous class for calculation purpose simply we take the mass numbers in instead of taking the exact atomic mass the mass number of nitrogen is taken as a 14 so we can consider this therefore the calculations become easier now let us see another uh, example what mass of oxygen is required to burn 40 grams of ethyl alcohol first of all what is ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol is c2h5oh do you know something about this ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol is uh, uh, manufactured from sugar industries sugar formula c12h22o11 right this ethyl alcohol is obtained as a by product in uh, uh, sugar cane industry see this uh, you know that Uh, nowadays so in all the countries this ethyl alcohol is used for uh, fuel purpose petrol mm -hmm. or diesel is mixed with uh, 25 to 30 percent of this ethyl alcohol therefore uh, <coughs> the consumption of uh, uh, petrol and diesel which is uh, obtained which is extracted from the earth crust is uh, uh, saved to some extent that is this is a uh, re uh, generated uh, fuel Now renewable sources. This is a renewable source of uh, energy. Whereas petrol, diesel, they are non-renewable sources of energy. Okay. Anyhow, let us come to this uh, problem. So ethyl alcohol C2H5OH burning means nothing but combining with oxygen. So when ethyl alcohol is burnt in air, it gives a lot of heat energy. That's why it is used in the 
used as a fusion right in the olden days in chemistry laboratories or school or college laboratories this ethyl alcohol is only used as a uh, uh, fuel in a lamps so when ethyl alcohol burns in air what do we get carbon dioxide and water vapor water vapor or water the formula is same plus lot of uh, heat energy lot of heat energy now how many carbon atoms are here two hydrogen atoms 5 plus 1 6 oxygen atoms 1 plus 2 3 whereas uh, carbon only one hydrogen two atoms and oxygen three atoms so equation is not balanced first of all we have to balance the equation how many carbon atoms are here two carbon atoms so let us take two carbon atoms here two carbon dioxide molecules now how many hydrogen atoms are here 5 plus 1 6 to make it 6 you must take three here so two carbon dioxide molecules and three water molecules now count the number of water mo oxygen molecules number of oxygen oxygen atoms how many are here now two two is so four plus plus one Three, three, three. Seven. Ah, seven. Already one oxygen atom here. So leaving this one oxygen atom, if you re remove this one oxygen atom, totally six oxygen atoms are there. So to ah. make this six, what must be the number here? Three. It must be three. So this is a balanced chemical equation. Now the balanced chemical equation is C two H five OH plus three O two gives. Uh, 2 CO2 plus 3 H2O. Okay. Now, uh, molar mass of uh, molar mass of C2H5OH. Carbon. Two atoms are there. Two into 12 plus hydrogen. Five plus one. Six oxygen atoms are there. Six into one plus oxygen. One atom is there. One into 16. So this is twenty four plus six plus sixteen equal to forty six. Therefore, molar mass of oxide uh, C ethyl alcohol C two H five forty six grams. Now, what is the problem? What is the mass of oxygen? What mass of oxygen is required uh, to burn forty grams of ethyl alcohol? So here. C two H five OH versus oxygen, right? So here, how many oxygen atom molecules are there? Three oxygen atoms. So you have to take the number of moles as given in the balanced chemical equation. Molar mass of oxygen is forty six. Only one mole is here, therefore forty six. Forty six grams of ethyl alcohol combines with three moles into molar mass of oxygen is thirty two. How many grams of oxygen, uh, ethyl alcohol uh, should be burnt here? Forty grams. So forty grams need how much? So this is forty by forty-six into three into thirty. Now do the calculation. After calculation, how much do you get? This is if uh, if any cancellation is there, you can cancel this. Otherwise. Uh, you can use the calculator and of course uh, when we use the calculator how much this is this is 83.47 grams so to burn 40 grams of ethyl alcohol it requires 83.47 grams okay have you got this yes sir Okay. Now, based on this, I shall post uh, some exercise. So, carry on this exercise and uh, uh, submit the work completed. It will be evaluated. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you.